What's up guys and welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3. Hello Charles. Any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well then that's where we begin our search. I'll meet you there. All right. Sounds like we're going to Lexington, boys. See what we got going on. Gonna hop on our trusty steed and uh, let's head that way. Well guys, this is interesting. We are actually in a, a totally new part of the map. Like we aren't even near Boston anymore. We're out here in the frontier, heading out into the boonies, out in the woods. Let's, uh, let's see what we've got going on. We've got little farm communities out here. This is kind of cool, I guess. We're looking for, ooh, here we are. The Lexington hunting region, all right. And this is supposedly where we're gonna find our girl. Look at all these little raccoons and stuff running around. Get out of here, boys. All right. Let's pick up the pace a little bit here. My trusty steed. Hmm. Looks like the red coats are a little a little more outnumbered out here in the, the boonies. And we made it to our objective. How you doing, sir? What up, Charles? Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. Let's do it. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Oh? Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. Well, that makes me kind of sad. Charles has been a great friend for us. I'm sure I'll be back, though. Looks like they've left their camp. We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. Bollocks. Our horses the ran off? Are fresh. It must be hers. Mm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. We've got wolves out here, boys. We've got to find this mysterious woman. Head up this way. Follow the path. Where is she going? There she is. She's setting up traps. Wait here. Well, we're just gonna have to chase her down, I guess. Turn to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious. I can handle things from here. But, sir! But nothing! Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! Where is she? She's up over here? Or what in the world? Your enemy! She's Please running through the trees like an out. assassin! God's woman! Only let me speak! Here we go! Enough with these games! See if we can catch up to her if we get up in the trees. Oh man. Settle down, puppy. Oh, 
Here we go. Woo! Gotcha! Down. Where's the next one at? I hear him all over. Got him! Hey, let's go. Nice job, Haytham. One more. He's down. Is that it? Gotta get, get back to this woman. Can we go up this tree? I'm gonna try going up. You oh, try no. my patience, woman! I don't think it'll let us. It's gonna have to fall on the ground, I guess. We can kind of predict where she's gonna go, though. Shoot. Come on. Keep going. I'm gonna try to try to cut her off. She's going right now. Are you touched in the head? Me, Haytham. I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? <laughs> Sorry. What do you want? Well, your name, for one. I'm Gadzi Zio. Oh, thanks. Nice to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Zio. Now tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? <laughs> well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. And she's gonna take my necklace? Also, I'm sure there's plenty of hills in the area, but I guess we found the right one. What in the world is she gonna have us do? That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. But first, we have to find him. All right. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Let's do it. Locate Edward Braddock. I don't trust you. I know. Well, you don't really have a choice. Yet you remain. But I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. So you say. So I know. Yet, I remain. Hmm. Think we found ourselves a new friend. Losing Charles, but we gained uh, Zio here. Can I head to Zio today? Uh, wait here. <laughs> However you say. A Mohawk man is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. She's cool. I like her. I hope so. All right. Got to gather some information. Can't stand being quartered there. The endless crashing of the waves, the sting of the salt in my eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The bulldogs putting together another expedition. Well, that's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. Yeah, I don't like these guys. Okay, so we've got that. Looks like we've got another one over here. Just blend in against the, the window. Are ready to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before week's end. Sounds like we got all the information we need. Let's get out of here. Oi! Where are you going, Cully? Me? 
No, the other cock robin. What? Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. <laughs> Let's go. Right, I was going to be the problem. Hatham's the man. Nice job there. Woo! Why not send him into the table? Goodbye. That's what I'm talking about. Got a fresh, fresh batch of losers. Not gonna happen today, bro. Ooh. Dude, I wish I could fight like Hatham. He's a monster. That guy just dodged all of our stuff, though. Yes, sir. Over the table. That's what I'm talking about. Still think I'm the enemy? Oh, that's nothing. Here. This should stop the bleeding. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. Will do, girl. Dude, that was cool. That last guy, he was deflecting all of our punches, though, or dodging them all. All right, mission complete. Uh, so I'm, ooh, what do we miss? What, what little side sequence thing did we miss? I'm not even sure. Anyway, good stuff, boys. It looks like, um, where are we going to be heading next? Are we staying out here in Lexington, or? Looks like we are going to be going out here. Let's go ahead and set our marker. Hop on our horse. And let's head that way. Use the snowstorm to mask your approach. Having second thoughts? Hardly. But I'll have to approach this carefully. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. <laughs> Gee, thanks. You're so brave. All right. Infiltrate the fort and do not kill any guards hmm. using a weapon. I can hide in that cart. Sounds, sounds good to me. Sounds like that could be useful. What's in the wagon? I need a full inventory. As you wish. Uh, let's see. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds of pork, 10 pounds of beef, seven dozen eggs, 16 wheels of cheese. None of it French, don't worry. Five <laughs> bottles of whiskey, a couple dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets to cut feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. All right, and one murderous scoundrel. But you guys don't need to know that. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. Okay. So we're gonna see if we can sabotage some cannons. I feel like this is good a spot as any to hop out. We actually might be able to get around him this way. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it. Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't sit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. I thought we were about to be found out right there. 
I really don't want to kill this guard. So that map is our objective, or disabling these cannons is the side objective. We can't be seen? Oh, shoot. Bro, I don't know. We obviously can't leave through the front gate. There's lots of guys there. We need to get around through the outside. There's one guy right here. <laughs> oh man, we got him. Let's go, baby. All right, escape the fort. Sounds good to me. Didn't kill anyone using a weapon. Got the cannons. Here we go. Just gonna go back and talk with Tio, and we're we're gonna be solid, boys. That that was something. Whistling in the bush and then just dashing around them. Not the uh, not the sharpest tool in the shed there. We made it back, girl. Got the intel. What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. Whatever you say, girl. Hopefully you know, uh... Know what you're doing. Mission complete. Got both of our side challenges. Looks good to me. All right, so where, where are we gonna be going next is the question. Looks like we've gotta go all the way back up over here. Is there, is there fast travel in this game? That is a, a long way to go. There's fast travel to here and to Boston but I don't think we can fast travel up here. Five months later, wow. That's a lot of time that's passed. Okay. The cold, cold ground. Nice job, Thomas. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen. Let us away. What a good looking group. Here we go, boys. This should be good. Nice little assassination mission. Time to turn up the, uh... First it was the excitement cold. a little bit. Now it's too goddamn hot. All right. And humid too. It's a right swamp, I tell you. Dude, uh, this game looks good for being nearly a decade old. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. I mean, the fact that it obviously it's remastered, what? it looks good, you but mean still. The bulldog? <laughs> Please, we'll be in that one's beef soon enough, and on to the next. Where's your boy Lee gone off to? He's busy to finish out playing with the enemy. Under I imagine and the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Lee's just been a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Long as he stays loyal. What's up, girl? We made it. So he's got hurt people here as well. I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? 
Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Well, you will help the others to prepare. Follow. Can't wait to see what her plan is. We going stealthy. They come. Going balls out. What are we doing? Everything all right, sir? George Washington. Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper. Which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Now is the time to strike. Wait. To scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls. I'll see sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. I like it. We're going stealthy up in here. Time to, uh... We await your signal. There, in front of us. We've got to kill the militia without triggering conflict. How are we going to do that? We've got to clear the entire camp. This is going to be tough, boys. They're coming up this way. I'm looking for my opportunity to strike. I'm not seeing it though. Yeah, we're, dude, we're gonna be seen no matter which way we come in here. There's no way. All right, I'm just going for it. What's up, brother? Kill them! I thought we were gonna be able to get away with it. I was gonna say, there's no way that dude didn't just see me. I don't know how we could have done that stealthily. I thought we were going to be able to do like a double assassination or something, but we were we were not able to. My own buddy just hit me. Oh, the headbutt. We need to take our sword out, man. There we go. Out here using fists. They're down. All right. Oh, we were only supposed to kill two without triggering a conflict. We were close enough. Whatever. Let's get it, baby. Ride to Braddock's position. We probably could have got two of them if we were more patient, but... That's all right. Ooh, look at our friends up in the trees. That's cool. So we're going to get up close to Braddock. They're going to attack and cause chaos, which is going to give us the cover we need to put a knife in his throat. Have the, you mean, sir? You are grateful to have. Is he about to kill somebody? Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! Sir. Where are you off to, Edward? I feel like that wasn't a part of the plan. Come on, Haytham, you gotta be a little bit... A little bit stealthier than that, my man. Here we go. 
go ahead and spur our horse, try to get a little bit closer. This is not, not easy, boys. Oh my gosh. Come on. Get up there. Shoot. <laughs> this, it's got a hard aim. Some of these older games, dude, it, it just like the, the joysticks don't work as well. We're gonna get up close and we're gonna see if we can just use that reaction shot or whatever. Oh, we got him. Okay. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on then! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Let's go, girl. Knock Washington off his high horse. Don't. Hurry before he gets away. I said go! Oof. Sorry, George. Alright. Got him. <laughs> Quick scope. Whatever. We'll take him down. Why, Hatham? Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps, no longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? It does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. Whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, <clears throat> I concur. Phew. Farewell, Edward. Knifed the gut and took his ring. We're out of there. Let's go, boys. He was a, um, a pretty nasty dude. I feel like he deserved that. Had that coming. It's done. Got my necklace well, back. I upheld my part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Honor me? Uh-oh. Time to go find out what she knows. There's that door. It's glowing. No. No. You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us, her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us, and the love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I hold on a minute. Go. What? 
I ship it. Go for it, Atham. Get it in, bud. All right. Sequence three down. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in our next episode.